Rockin' Larry Lockin' here with a special edition of the show, a special edition for the light grid, spreading the love everywhere. I've got my son here, Leland Lockin', 18 years old. He just got to experience the dream of a lifetime through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which we want to send much love and thank the Make-A-Wish Foundation, don't we, buddy? Mm -hmm. They really did well. And Leland got to go to Dallas, Texas to the um, to what they call Jerry World, the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, AT&T Stadium, and see WrestleMania 32, which, by the way, WrestleMania 32 broke a record. They, uh, the record for attendance of, for WrestleMania, it was um, set originally in 1987, 93,000, you know, the big one where Hulk Hogan slammed Andre the body slammed Andre the Giant. And so um, it, the record held all these years, 29 years, and it broke. It went over 100,000 people, 101,700 people. And it was exciting at the stadium, huh, buddy? TVs in the bathrooms and everything like that. But Leland also got to meet several of the wrestlers. Um, my other son, Kyron, oddly enough, his favorite team, football team is the Dallas Cowboys. They got to meet some of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, what are some of the other things, buddy, that you got to do to start with? And Leland, how are you, bud? I'm doing pretty I, awesome. I love you. I love you, too. You want to send a shout-out to everybody out there and tell them how much you love them? I really love all of you. Now say it in Spanish to them. Te, te quiero. Te quiero a, a todos. Te quiero. Okay, yes. Te quiero a la gozo to everybody, too. And um, so, Leland, what... You started off, you arrived in Dallas. What other... What kind of... First of all... What was it like? Explain what it was like meeting the wrestlers. Explain who you got to meet. Just talk about that a little bit first. Well, I meeting Seth Rollins, it was like a dream. Oh, boy, I can imagine, buddy. And you, you also have a real live wrestling heavyweight belt, not a toy one. But this one was $225, a real replica. You got to meet Seth Rollins. And just, just talk about that and explain, tell everybody who all you met. Tell all the people you met. I met Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, John Cena. What was it like meeting John Cena? Well, he, he knows about hustle, loyalty, and respect for the fans. And for each and every single Make-A-Wish participant ever. So you were really impressed by the way he conducted himself? Mm-hmm. Awesome. And why don't you talk about, Leland also got to meet, um, they worked for the WWE, he got to meet Brett the Legendary, Brett the, Hitman's, Brett the Hitman Hart's daughter, and also Nature Boy Ric Flair's daughter was there, Natalia. And what's who, who's Brett Hart's daughter? What's her name? Uh, you mean Ric Flair's daughter. Yeah, what's her name? Charlotte. And then Natalia's Brett's daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and one of them, one of them gave you a kiss on the cheek, mm -hmm. and we have a picture that we'll, we'll upload at some point. But just ex talk about the stadium, and talk about just go ahead and talk about anything you want as far as that goes. Well, the stadium, it's just like it kind of reminds me of where the football field used usually is. Yep, that's the, and, they play there, and the dome. And the roof of the stadium, it looked very awesome. Did it? Really? Did you happen to see, like your brother was talking about, did you happen to see one of those um, stalls with the with the uh, TV in it? Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. So even if you're going to the bathroom, you can watch the game or the match, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, I wonder if they had them on during WrestleMania. I know they do the football games. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes, they did. And tell everybody where you sat. You were in the what row were you in? I was on the second row. You were practically ringside. Oh, boy, those tickets. The, this stadium is so huge. The, the nosebleed seats where you have to look at the monitor to even see the ring were 500 bucks. I can only imagine what the second row was. So, so what happened? So, and who else did you get to meet? Well, I, I got to meet Mark Henry. Which his nickname is? Which the nickname is Sexual Chocolate. Mm-hmm. And I got to meet the Divas, which are uh, Natalia, Charlotte, and JoJo. And hold on, let Dad back up for a minute. And to get this out of the way, you, your brother was excited about this too. You guys got to meet three Dallas Cowboy players and the cheerleaders. You got to meet the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, who Dad did not know has a reality show because Dad don't watch TV. 
but they have a reality show. So you got to meet the cheerleaders too. Mm-hmm. Did they give you a kiss? Any of them? Uh, no. Ah, <laughs> yeah, awesome. Get it? Did you get a hug from one of them? Yes. Awesome, buddy. So back to who you met on in the wrestling. Who else you meet? Well, I I met four superstars and three divas. That's all. Okay, so that was exciting. And then, so did you go to the Hall of Fame ceremony? Uh, mm -mm, no. no. Okay, but tell us what it was like. So explain. Start the story walking in the arena for WrestleMania. Well, walking in the arena is just like, man, the uh, the ovation and the crowd. Energy was pretty awesome, huh? Uh huh. And so you got to your seat. So so talk about some of the matches. I know you were telling me, you know, we were talking about, you know, Shaq was there. Shaq was there and, you know, different stars, The Rock, Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Big Show. Tell us about the start with them. Talk about the matches. Well, the first match on the actual show, it was the ladder match. It featured Sin Cara, one of the favorites. Zack Ryder, and Sami Zayn, The Miz, Dolph Ziggler, and 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 Stardust, and Kevin Owens. Yeah, okay. What was your, you know, talk about Shaq and, um, and coming out there and talking some trash to the Big Show, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're about the same size. Big Show's quite a bit bigger girth-wise, but they're about the same height. Two giants going at it. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it, buddy. And so, um, what were some of the highlights that you really enjoyed? Well, during during the matches, like Hell in a Cell wise, I, Shane McMahon, he jumped off like 25, 30 feet off the cell. And that's Vince McMahon, the owner's son, right? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, pretty athletic guy, huh? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm athletic like me. Yeah, you're like a big luchador. You're like a Mil Muscatus. Look at you. Sky high. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what are what else are some of your thoughts about it? What was your favorite match? Oh gosh, there's so many match matches to talk about and and pick. They're so hard to pick. <laughs> well, go through them all. You go through them all. Talk about them all. Uh the ladder match. And the uh, No Holds Barred match, and the Hell in a Cell, and uh, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. How'd that go down? That's when Shaq was in, right? But he got eliminated first, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So, the matches, I would have to say uh, the Hell in a Cell. Okay, and what was some of your favorite things about it, though? Well, I like the, I like how the cell roof has been built, and I like how the, the cage, has been part of it. Like how they made it for the, for the cell, it, you, they put like good effort into it. Yeah, how many wrestlers were in that match? There were actually two featuring Shane McMahon and the Phenom, The Undertaker. Oh, who won? Undertaker. Oh, uh, and he's only lost once at WrestleMania, like what, 20 sometimes? Well, he lost only one time against Brock Lesnar, which was uh, two years ago at WrestleMania 30. Yeah. Do you think he'll ever avenge that loss? Uh, well, last year he he defeated Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. Yeah, okay. So that was kind of like his comeback. Uh-huh. So what are some of the other things that you got to do in Dallas, Texas while you were there down in Big D? Well, uh, I went to Dave & Buster's. Yeah, and what, what happened there? And I played some basketball, like one of them arcade ones. Yeah, which you'd love to do. You and your brother love to do. I know when we were over at the Fun Center in Bend, that was one of your favorite things to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that was exciting, huh? Uh -huh. I was, yeah. 
It was one of my favorite things of them all. Plus, after the before the basketball game comes, you gotta like swipe your blue or green card. The blue ones you can play for free, and green ones you might have to get money. Okay. And hey, well, look, how was the food there at David and Buster's? Oh, it was awesome. I had. I had a um, uh, che cheeseburger, I believe. Yeah. And I had some for dessert. What wise? I had like a cookie that goes with it. Did it have ice cream on it or anything? Mm, no, but they should should have. <laughs> had ice well, cream. you got to make meet the CEO of Dave and Buster's or the president. You should have told him, hey, where's the ice cream, dude? Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. You could have. <laughs> that would have been exciting, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you really. What was the weather like down there in Dallas? Uh, same, same as where we live. It was the same here as on the Oregon coast. Uh -huh. You got there right at the right time because in a month from now, it gets so sweltering hot there that you can't really, you know, it's hard to even breathe, I've heard. Uh, so, and you go, what else, What other, how was the plane ride there? Not so bad at all. I know, I don't think you've flown since you were a little boy, since we went to New Mexico, and you were, I don't know how old you were, you were, let's see. I was like. You were about nine, no, what are you, eight, I was eight, like eight years seven. Old. Yeah, you were seven, almost eight years old, that's right. <laughs> that's right, that's exactly right, okay. Huh. So. Yeah, wow. It's been that long. Dad hasn't flown. You know what? That was the last time Dad's flown, too, in an airplane. That was the last time Dad has flown. And, and, and part of me being like like flying in the plane, I got to meet other people. Yeah, you're talking. To, did you talk to people there? Like, like, while I was on the plane, I met Tom and, and his mom. Tom who? I don't know his was, last was name. It Tom, did he, did he, he didn't by any chance say anything about leaving the light on for you. Did, did he say it was Tom Bodette with Motel 6? Uh, no. No, wow. it was like one of the kids who who does make a wish. But I don't know his last name, though. You got a, you got a cool blue shirt and everything. Uh-huh. And he had like a mohawk. He had a mohawk? Uh-huh. No kidding. No kidding. It looks so cool on him. And for him, he was just like so excited to go see the event. Well, who could blame him? I mean, you were so excited too, weren't you? <laughs> uh huh. I've been waiting for three years. Three years. You've been waiting for this a long time happen. for this to happen, buddy. And, and you know what? When dad was a kid and I was into wrestling mm -hmm. and everything, what a dream. I mean, just all the stuff that you got to do, what a dream. <laughs> so I mean what a dream come true. It was a dream come true. True. After all all this this time, all these years, all these make a wish people, I just couldn't wait for WrestleMania. I bet not, buddy. I bet not. Wow. I mean <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just everything that you got to do in the Make a Wish Foundation, you know, I gotta say they really did a they really did a great job. And I wanna give props to to all the make a wish people who set this up just for me. So I wanna thank thank each and every single one of you make a wish people. Thank you. Really, anybody in particular you'd like to th say a thank you to? Well, I'd like to thank, thank Dell, one of the volunteers for Make-A-Wish. I want to thank her and her husband, Steve. Yeah, now they're, they're the local representatives. They didn't go along, though, right? Right. Okay, they're, so. just, they're just the local reps. Oh, you're out of camera view. How'd you get out of camera view? There you are. Hey. Well, so what, moving forward, how does that inspire you? I know that you have lost a lot of weight. You have been working out. You have been doing all kinds of stretches. I mean, this is just silently by yourself. You've been like getting in really great shape and practicing moves. 
Um, so where does this where does this lead you now, buddy? I mean, you're 18, you're 18, and you like it, like it, like it, right? Right. Okay. It makes me want to get into the wrestling business. It does, and now you know. On a funny note, you could maybe talk to everybody about now that Leland's 18. He came up to me, and keep in mind, this is a kid that on your life would never even say a swear word, and he's decided since he's 18 now. He's not going to drink or smoke, but he's got the right to uh, cuss once in a while. Not, not at my mom's. But well, what about on camera here? <laughs> no, because the fans would say what? Because I love my fans, and they don't want to hear me cuss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It was funny when you were doing it, though, Leland. It's like hearing it'd be like hearing a nun cuss, to be honest. Well, is there anything else you want to share with the fans while you were there that really excited you? Well, over in the hotel, we were in the Westin Hotel. Yeah. And we got free Wi-Fi there. So I got a chance to see my wrestling and all that other stuff. So it was just an exciting trip all the way around. The food was good. The flight went smooth. Um, the weather was just perfect. Great job, buddy. Why don't you give the fans a loving, loving send-off? I just, I just want to tell everyone that I love you so very much. And if any of you have, have kids or like, like friends, tell them that they are good athletes like, like me. And encourage them. And, and encourage them. Keep up, keep up the good work. All right, buddy. You want to tell everybody as we shot off too, like give them, give everybody your own loving message in Spanish. Uh, a, tu, a todos ustedes, tú están el gran atletos y gran trabajadores. Well, remember, sonos unos vatos locos. Yeah. Okay, that's old school. But um, I love you, buddy. I'm so glad you had a great time. And what a time of a lifetime. If Dad was a kid, he'd be jealous. Was awesome. I mean, you got several of the things you did down there would have been a kid's dream to go do. So I love you. And I'm glad that you had a great time, buddy, okay? Okay. All right. Now, Daddy, make some dinner. You want Daddy to make some dinner? Yes. You want to take off your mask real quick and say hi to everybody? He's unmasked. Look at him. <laughs> Lee Londo Lockin creeping through the fog and sneaking through the smog. And, uh, and fans, I will only wear my mask when I get to the rain. Yeah, he does. He wants to read it. He doesn't wear it in the shower or to bed. I don't do that. The only time I wear the ma wear my mask is is in the ring, and when I'm like signing autographs. Awesome, buddy. I love you. Well, that's a wrap from the Light Grid Studios. Bye. I love you. Love you, too. All right.